Hey guys, welcome back to The Bright Side. Macy here, The Bright Side Girl, and today we're going to do a library slash office tour. So as some of you may know, I recently got new bookshelves. I think I talked about it in a couple videos and you've seen them obviously in the backgrounds of my videos, but you haven't seen the full thing in all of its glory. I haven't done a bookshelf tour in a long time. I am not gonna go through and pull out each book and show you but I'll give you a full tour, a brief explanation about my organizing. <laughs> um, honestly, I just did it so that it was kind of like somewhat aesthetically pleasing. I'm getting ready to decorate for fall here soon, so I wanted to give you guys this tour while it was still kind of in like a normal state. So excited to share this video with you. So if you're interested in seeing a cool office library inspiration, then just stay tuned. Just a couple of things. I got my shelves at Ikea. I will link below the exact ones that I got, plus the risers that I got for them. Obviously not sponsored or anything. These are probably the most popular ones for BookTube because they're like really sturdy and they're not as expensive as like a solid wood bookshelf, but they're not gonna fall apart like the Walmart ones that I had that were like 20 or $30 a piece. So that's what's happening. If you have any more questions, let me know. Without further ado, we're gonna start the tour. Okay, it's really hard to get a good shot of these bookshelves, but this is my office. Oh, Ledge is here with us. So I wound up getting three of the, I think they're the six foot bookshelves. And then they have like another shelf riser. Um, I think it's either on the bottom or the top. And it makes them, I think, almost eight feet. So it actually makes my room look a lot bigger. I thought it would make it look small having this big of a shelf in here, but it makes it feel grand <laughs> and great. And then I had this little half bookshelf, which is basically like the same thing. Um, we'll talk about that in a second. So these are the shelves. I love them. So this is my office library. I do have one more bookshelf in my bedroom that has some of my favorite reads and my dad had made it for me. These are all of my TPR books, you guys, like other than some Christmas books. Oh man, there's so many. So this, these two shelves are some books that I have read, but everything else is TBR, which is madness, I know, but I'm hoping as I read, I will transfer over, they'll start becoming more red than TBR. Um, obviously I'm not gonna keep the ones that I don't like, but this works for me right now. And I can also like take some of them out and use decor. I think that's what I'm gonna do for like fall and Halloween is I'm gonna take out like these middle shelves and put some like cool decor in there. I'm not sure yet. So let's just get started. So we will start over here with the small bookshelf. So we've got this top shelf is gonna be like my classic books, like Barnes and Noble classics and things like that. And then these two shelves are gonna be like mermaid, pirate, and ocean themed reads. I know I don't really have like that many. And then this shelf is gonna be kind of more like middle grade kid style books that were kind of a little bit like smaller in size. This is not gonna stay here, <laughs> but this is where I keep like my book haul books and then like books that people trade with me. And then I have my little weight set over here. That's probably not gonna stay. And then my ring light. I also have my cool mermaid photo. She's beautiful. So let me know what you guys think. I originally thought maybe I should just get one of these like skinny shelves and put it right here next to the window. But I do kind of like having a little bit of things on top of it. I think a skinny shelf might hold more, which I definitely don't need. <laughs> um, but do you think that would look better since the window was like right here? Um, not entirely sure. Okay, then on this first shelf over here, we've got like some dystopian books. Like not everything is perfectly organized, but I kind of have a general idea. So we've got like some dystopian reads down here. The next two shelves are series that I haven't finished. So we've got some good, good stuff in here kind of like to keep those together. So it's just these two shelves of series that I need to finish. Then we have my retelling shelves. So these are all like fairy tale or some kind of retelling. My dad made me this little wooden block when I was like a little kid. Then we just have some bigger, um, these are like the larger size young adult, like fantasy books, no particular thing. 
and then just something kind of like random up top here. Okay, then we have some contemporary on this top shelf up here. And the second skinny one, not a huge contemporary reader. Then we've got some sci-fi type reads. This is like robots and things like that. More sci-fi space, like mostly space themed books. I actually have a lot more space books than I do mermaid books. And then this is like Star Wars and superheroes and things. So then over here, got some more kids books over here, middle grade. Then no theme to this particular shelf really, just like these books kind of all fit here and they were with their series. Then we got some good fantasy things up here, more fantasy. <laughs> some larger books, larger fantasy books on these top two shelves random on this top top shelf then we start to go into like my spooky slash fall slash like october style reads like witches and vampires and monsters and things like that on these next couple of shelves lots of things to read for the fall i'm so excited a couple things mixed in but mostly fall style reads here as well and then these bottom two are ones that i have read and they just didn't fit on the shelf in my bedroom so that is it for the bookshelf i was using my little stool to show you guys so i'm going to show you the rest really quick not a whole lot so my desk is over here with my puppy. Here's the thing, I'm I'm not loving that there's like this little paddy corner space right here. It does hide some things. But I'm thinking eventually I'll get a new desk that kind of fits into the corner more. This one, if I put it there, I wouldn't be able to back my chair out. Temporary lamp. I'm gonna do like a gallery wall here with some art prints from like author friends and mermaid prints and things like that. I probably need a bigger desk <laughs> eventually. And then over here are some books that I have read for the month that I need to talk about and then some I need to send Brittany. And then I have paperbacks <laughs> and random ones down here. So those probably need to go somewhere else too. Not going to keep this whole area. It's going to change a lot also. There's a monster in here. <laughs> Sorry, the light's kind of dark over here. The, none of this is going to stay. This is actually a shelf from the living room I was using to hold books temporarily until I got the new bookshelves. So that's going to move. I'm not sure. Like, it really just does need a shelf there. But I don't need another shelf now that I have this one. So, so that is it. That is my office tour. I am so excited to finally have this. It's not done, but the bookshelf part is pretty much done. I'm actually kind of overwhelmed that I have it all like <laughs> in one spot um but you know what it looks nice and i always have the option to like get rid of the books and sell the books later and change my mind if i want to but i like it for now especially for filming purposes so that's how it is let me know what you guys think i have been wanting this for like a very long time and i finally saved some money to get it it really wasn't that expensive to be honest as far as bookshelves go especially for how many and how long it's going to last me. So, hope you guys enjoyed this video and stay tuned for more decorating and fun things. Thank you guys for watching. See you next time on the bright side. Bye. <music>